Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Heck Off Hoser. Today we're talking about why disliking Justin Trudeau is explicitly right wing. We're going to be talking about all the reasons why you and your family and all your friends can be doing everything they can to get that hose face out of office, you know? How was that? That was okay. You, you had the pointing down. Typically, we want to shamelessly transition into our, our sponsor, Undertack.com, offer code DOYLE20. <laughs> uh, and we, we love Undertack, but it is pretty good. All right, we're here finally after, what, 12, 18 hours of delays from an unnamed Canadian airliner in Dallas, Texas, with the John Doyle. How are you? We're doing well. We're excited to uh, leaf, <laughs> leaf Canadian shoot gun. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be shooting some guns here. Very, well, not foreign to me. I've done it before, but very, if, if we were to transplant this place into Canada, it'd be shut down within hours, maybe. Maple syrup thrown on it. No Canadian jokes here. Um, I'm like his ambassador to the gun culture. You know, he yeah. walked in, he showed up a little bit early, thought it was going to be okay. And then immediately the staff come up to me and they're like, why is this guy over here talking about AK-15s, fully semi-auto? And I was like, okay, hold on, hold on. So we'll, uh, we'll get him suited. He's going to have a good time. We'll make America great again. This is mostly fake news. But what I'm, I'm in Texas, I'm almost alarmed by the amount of freedom given by where, I, where I'm from. The highways are bigger. Nobody's telling me what to do. Right. It's a, it's a little bit jarring. The mall was two floors bigger than I'm used to. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know what you expect from me, what other things I could expect to be alarming, but I'm just excited to shoot some guns and maybe do some other stuff. Heck off, Connie. Mm. In Canada, if you didn't know, everything in here is probably illegal. It has to be limited to... 10 rounds, single fire, and there's a, just a gigantic list of things that are illegal. So I feel like, I feel like I'm not allowed to be here, to be honest. Where's uh, young John? Oh, he's over there. Does he always look this depressed? Yeah. Yeah. Loaded? Yep. Where was the safety on this one? So it's not safe. It's right there by the trigger. So remember, one click this way. I was impressed with the power of the G36. The AK, it's just like, I'm not, I'm not Taliban. I mean, I don't really, I'm not impressed by the AK. I don't know, what were, you had some thoughts in there? Look, yeah, I don't know. There is sort of like the, uh, you know, the meme where it's like low IQ, midwit, high IQ. Mm -hmm. There's kind of like something like that, I think, with like low IQs, like guns are cool. Midwit's like, erm, actually, it's like Second Amendment boomer cope. High IQ is kind of like, yeah, like guns are cool. There is something uniquely American about explosions or something sort of like yeah. the vitality of it. It is very cool. But the gun culture, frankly, uh, like I'm in there and, you know, I'm, I'm shooting my revolver and I overhear the, the range instructor and he's talking about how he was in the army this other guy's like, oh, I'm in the army too, and I'm also like gay, and I had like my gay army boyfriend, and they were like making what? jokes about like sodomy, and they're like, you know, dude, nice, I have like my no st uh, my no step on snack tattoo as well. They're like making jokes about you know the Gadsden flag and things like that. So it's this weird thing where conservatives think like we're winning because we've got all the guns, but you can talk to people who have the guns. They're all like libertarians who just want to like smoke weed, watch Netflix, be gay. Like it's the Austin Peterson quote, right? It's like I want gay couples to be able to defend their weed farms, the AR-15s. I don't want that actually. I want me and my cool friends to raid those weed farms and shut them like in Far Cry 3, remember? Okay. Shh. Like, burn uh, my mind went to Fallout 4. Okay. So the moral of the story is uh, guns are cool, but being <laughs> that's probably the moral of the story, uh, honestly. <laughs> uh, it's probably not. It's far more important to get like one rifle that is good uh, and just be proficient with that and to train not only like in terms of good marksmanship but to practice like small unit tactics. Um, there are tons of retired, you know, Navy SEALs, operators who their source of income is to give these classes uh, usually in very small groups and usually like on referral basis. Um, it's a lot better I think than getting involved with like militias which tend to either be too LARPy, maybe there's like Fed risk there, but if you're interested mm -hmm. in like becoming uh, a more proficient marksman that's definitely the route to go don't be larpy with it just like be serious be professional because um, that is like a very important skill i think for young men to have is like proficient marksmanship so you can probably find a lot of that stuff online now you're only supposed to use it in legal means not for me i'm not a lawyer but 
I think that stuff's probably easily found online. Yeah, I've uh, I've taken a few uh, courses like that before um, with some different guys training in like very small groups because I thought it would help me better in Fortnite, like when I'm in the field, being <laughs> able to no. play squads better and uh, you know the secure the victory royale. The fear of death doesn't apply in video games, I think, is why it doesn't carry over. It do, well, if I die now, it's like, man, that sucks. But if I die in Fortnite, I let the squad down, that's, that's humiliation. I mean, that's you the let, worst thing ever. Especially if, I, if I've if i got my cool Slim Shady or Peter Griffin Fortnite skin. <laughs> I'm now humiliating my idols at the same time. If you die in real life, you're just letting, you know, Mike Pence down. Yeah, as who cares what he thinks. <laughs> yeah. So. Pence memes, Pence gay memes, Pence, Mike Pence and the sun fight gay lizard aliens. So we can go hit baseballs, we could go to like an arcade or something. I don't know why we Dude, would do that. I, I would go I would go to some batting cages. Yeah. Alright guys, we'll see you there. Whoa! I'm gay now. You weren't gay before. <laughs> Um, anyways, we're that. at the baseball diamond now. Um, what are we here to expect? This is a really nice neighborhood. It's like a very, yeah, typical uh, sort of suburban Dallas, Fort Worth neighborhood. Nice area for sure. We're here, we're gonna hit some baseballs, gonna crank some dingers. Uh, maybe see if some of these cart girls wanna see how cool we are at the 25 mile an hour cage. And <laughs> I don't know uh, if it goes that low. see what happens, maybe make America great again if we have some spare time, I don't know. Q Simpsons Major League Baseball spying on you meme. Young Bart here was right. We are spying on you pretty much around the clock. But why, Mr. McGuire? Do you want to know the terrifying truth? Or do you want to see me suck a few dingers? Dingers! Dingers! dingers. Do either of you guys golf? No, that's, that's one of those things I need to get good at because it's been very important professionally. Yeah. Uh, but I've never, I caddied once for one summer and I hated it. It was the worst job I've ever had. Uh, certainly far less enjoyable than my very successful lucrative career as an internet racist. I need full sugars today. I need my electrolytes. Real. So I'll probably start off at like the 20, 25. Just, that feel, be, just get warmed so up. Softball? Just get you warmed probably up. probably softball, right? Uh, where's probably that start one? cranking dingers. Um, I want to point out here that being in Texas, I was like, where are the helmets? You don't even need a helmet here. You're trusted. In Canada, you're not getting into a batting cage without a helmet, a condom, and some sort of insurance, I feel like. And I'd also like to point out, it's at John Doyle's request, we're going with slow pitch first. That's not even what I said. That's at 25. That's how fast 50. do you think slow pitch is? I never asked. I don't know. Would a Spurs do 6'2 talk like that? I don't think so. I'm four foot eleven, which puts him at like what, maybe four five, four six. <laughs> four point six nine. Um You wanna go first? No, you guys go. Yep. Yeah, tag me in coach. Are those prescription? Um no. I have regular prescription glasses. Can I borrow those unironically? <laughs> he just gets pegged in the back of the leg, that'd be sweet. I'm losing my pitches. That's him in the corner. I can't see. It's dude. This is the worst idea ever. It should have gone in the shade. He, jo, video title: John Doyle exposed I, I literally the fans. Can't see. It's like. All right, this is a waste of a token. What's wrong? Is, is it like too bright? Yes. Like I can't see it coming. I have to use my ears. <laughs> He's baseball's Greg Abbott. We'll just super cut it to where it's only the ones that he hits. It's Real. Like John Doyle hits 38 pitches in a row. Yeah, it's true. just the same clip over and over again. That is what happened. It's out of the park. I can't see. I don't want to play anymore. I'm leaving. Come on. There we go. Woo! Strike one. Two. Oh. Oh. Fuck. You want to hit those. How many did you hit again? All of them. <laughs> Every single one of them. Oh. You want to hit the ball as opposed to not hit the ball, generally speaking. Can I borrow your hat? Yes. Thank you. We're up in high noons now. People would puke if they knew the numbers he was trying to jump to. See if I can see. Oh, that's a lot better. 
Okay, now it's literally over for him because if he couldn't see with the hat and couldn't hit the ball, it's just... As an Andrew bro, I'm personally not feeling so good. Wow. Strike one. Shut up. Oh, he can talk while I bat, but not the other way around. Ah. There we go. Opposite field. That was low. It's a rig like system, like folks. Vipers. It's a rig system. It's a crooked system. It's 100% crooked. It's a dirty rig system. Oh, wow. Oh, you can adjust the height? Can't do that in Canada. <laughs> there we go. That, those are softballs. Oh, fuck you. Breaks aluminum in half. <laughs> I don't know if it will. Yeah, it hurts, eh? Real. Andrew says, looking up at bat. All right, that one's pretty good. <laughs> looking. They call him the Mickey Mantle of the greater Toronto area. That's what I've been hearing. It, I think it helps most when you speak Canadian to me. Of course, of course. Well, hey there. Well, hey there, guy. Ooh, that's tiring. I'm going to recite an entire episode of Heck Off Commie during this. That's gone. Welcome back, everybody, to Heck Off Commie. I never say welcome back. It's okay. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, that's gone. Gone. I can't even see that. That probably left. Probably broke through. Ugh. He gives abuse a lot better than he oh, can take dude. it, you know? Fired a 357 Magnum, hitting baseballs. My hands are killing me. See, he has to make a qualifying statement for his failures. It's a, uh, a real a real sign of a lack of confidence. For having a uh, for having a better performance than you, buddy can't even buddy can't even bat his weight. I don't know what he said, something about my waist size? Your batting average is lower than your weight. Probably. I don't know. Probably. If I'm hitting. If I hit two for ten, then I'm above my weight, you know? Now I'll bat the real way, left. No, I'm just kidding. All I could think of when I was swinging there for a second is the Simpsons were Homer swinging in slow motion and his whole gut is like moving. <laughs> I heard laughing just halfway through. <laughs> if there was an offense there, you're dead. Could this be a victory for Canada? I think so. Tell me you would vote for Nikki Haley without telling me you'd vote for Nikki Haley. Uh, but again, I try not to brag about it. It's just really not fair. Uh, I try not to show off and put myself into these situations, but Leaf is going to come into town and tell me he wants to go to the batting cages. I mean, look at this guy. Oh. What was that? What was that? Was that supposed to be a hit? I mean, look, he's making contact. He's got the fundamentals down, it looks like. But, uh, I mean, you look at the guy, and he's just not a performer. He's not an athlete. Uh, he's Canadian. As America's greatest pastime, and as a grade 12 baseball MVP myself, you know, I do have a lot of expectations on my shoulders, especially from the audience members, the, uh, the members of the media in present. As we see John Doyle, um, his stance, I'll analyze his stance a little. I can kind of tell the players he models himself after. He's got the uh, front touch toe that he likes to, to give up. That's gone. He's also a good opposite field hitter where I'm pretty much all pole hitting. But we can't give him too many compliments because as you're aware, they go right to his head. That's it. Now you know how to be American. Now you know how to be Texan. You might even learn, if you stick with us, you might even learn how to swing a baseball bat like Cameraman Game did. You know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out the Patreon link in the description. And remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. We're bringing back the old catchphrase. Please do.